you are probably a very attractive person, and for this reason your options in life are many. Because you have so many options you may have a very difficult time making a permanent decision. You can feel like a kid in a candy store at times, there's just too much to choose from, and you want to try it all. This is great in some ways, but it also leaves you feeling very unstable and uncertain in many other ways. Even though you will always be faced with a lot of distractions and temptations throughout life, your true happiness will always come from choosing those things that offer you stability and a strong, solid foundation. Otherwise, you will spend your life going from relationship to relationship, job to job, city to city. One of the things that will help you resist the many temptations in life is to develop a very strong spiritual foundation that helps you learn to think positive thoughts, make clear decisions and understand the true meaning of what it means to be loved properly. That doesn't mean you have to give up certain aspects of your freedom. You can still travel and see the world but you would feel better about yourself if you learn to do that in moderation. Your ideal job would be one that allows you to move about. The same goes for intimate relationships. You may want to remain single until you have mastered your need for constant change. Once that has been settled you stand a better chance at having a long-term relationship. Your mind is very progressive, so you may want to consider exploring metaphysics or non-traditional realms of spirituality. This will allow your mind to expand and grow in healthy ways. But for some of you, a very traditional religion or spiritual practice is what's needed most if you are to stay grounded long term. Just remember that indecision and uncertainty can be a very dark place, so you want to avoid these things as much as possible. You can remain charming and fun to be around, but don't be so quick to give in to the temptations. Don't be so hard on yourself if at times you fall back into bad habits. You are a human being just like everyone else, you've come here to learn about life through living. You are extremely creative and at the very core of your being, an artist. You can excel in almost any of the visual arts, whether that's writing, painting, photography, or as an actor. Your imagination is unmatched, and you have a keen wit. You enjoy talking with others and can often do so with great excitement. You are very charming and you have the ability to inspire others like no other. You like to surround yourself with a lot of friends and associates. Your charisma is very vibrant and contagious, but you can sometimes be quite moody. You appreciate things that are aesthetically pleasing. You express all of this creativity with your clothes and the decor of your home. You have a very green thumb, and would be perfect at arranging flowers. It's very important for you to keep your long-range vision in mind at all times, not wasting too much time on things that are less important or too trivial. Make sure to find a healthy balance between being social, and working. Otherwise, you may get left behind. If you are not an artist in any way, you should definitely search out the arts as a hobby. Since you were born under the astrological sign of Sagittarius you can be, frank, enthusiastic, stimulating, generous, impulsive, open and honest, candid, fair, sensual, carefree, eager, possess good judgment, sincere, adventurous, and a positive thinker, but you can also be restless, optimistic, tactless, intolerant, domineering, blunt, rigid, overconfident, demanding, aloof and irresponsible. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life, stand up for your beliefs, learn to practice forgiveness, pay attention to the details, commit to your choices, analyze the situation completely before deciding, be sensitive to others, watch what you say, be open-minded, be open-minded be open-minded, and most importantly learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.